In the land of the giants, there can only be one king of Britain. There's a few to settle. Fabio Wardley, Fraser Clark. Welcome to the Gloves Are Off. You can stick it on me and I'll stand right in front of you and go back at you. And every time it's happened, the other person has ended up on their back and my hand has been raised. I know what's in this chest is going to bring a good fight. But there's only one winner. This has got to be one of the most eagerly anticipated British title fights I can remember. Fabio, you're the champion. Is this the stage and kind of fight you relish? Yeah, clearly. I think you can see that from, from the last few fights I've had from my career entirely, that these are the ones I hunt for. These are the ones I, I ask for. These big moments, these big occasions, they're where you see the best of me. That's where you see the best of Fabio Wardley. So I hunt them wherever they are, wherever I can find them. And this is, this is the next one on the list for me. That's all. Fraser, you must have dreamt of this kind of fight, this stage. I knew this was coming <laughs> from day, from not even from day one of being a pro, from 10 years ago. I knew we'd get here at some point. I didn't know it'd be Fabio. But I know I'd be fighting for the British title. I knew it'd be early on in my pro career because I'm good enough. And just like him, I'm all about challenges, Johnny. I relish, I relish. I love being in the fire. I've got to ask you, why is this fight happening now, Fraser? I think it's happening now because, obviously, we all know what's happened in the past. We all know this was something that was supposed to happen a while ago. It's happening now because the money's right. That's the, that's the honest answer. The money's right for both of us. The time is right. Um, he come off a great win out in Saudi. Um, I got the experience which, which I needed. And now we're here. Fabio, it was mandatory in April. In your opinion, why didn't that happen? Clear and honestly, he didn't want it. And he'll say he did, he'll say he was ready for it, he'll say he, he'll take it at any time, at any place, anywhere. But push comes to shove, when the moment came, he wasn't there, he didn't show up. And if, if, that's, if, if it's the case of the, he, he said that he wasn't in control and there was the people above him and they, they, they made the decision for him, I know the facts of the situation and I know when a mandatory is made, the only, the only person who can sign that bit of paper to say I'm withdrawing myself is the fighter. Whether that's, whether that's under instruction, maybe they told him to and they promised him and said, look, we'll get it for you later, we'll sort this out or whatever. But on that day, when the phone rang and the board said, are you taking this? He said no. The phone didn't ring, so you don't, you don't know nothing. The phone didn't ring and it signed <coughs> no paper. This came down to sort of don't bite the hand that feeds you sort of thing. That's what it came down to because there's no way I'm pulling up. What? Give me a, a reason why I'd pull out a fight with you. Because you've blasted away 17 nobodies. You know I wasn't pulling out of that fight. I wasn't doing nothing. All the peepers, the power that be, I left the room distraught. I left the room in Birmingham vexed, wanting to go and smash up a hotel room because I was basically being told. And now, you know what? It was a bit naive of me. If I knew what I knew now, we would have fought already. But at the time, I was new to the pros, a bit naive. The fight didn't happen, but was it a blessing in disguise? It, it might have been. It might have been. So we're here now, and you know we can go over the old ground till we're blue in the face. March 31st. <clears throat> this man thinks you ducked him. <laughs> no, the whole of Ipswich. Thinks I'm ducked No, 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 no. The whole of boxing. It's not, it's not no, Ipswich. No, no, it's no, not no, local no. to where I'm from. No, but it's, it's, no, it's no, everyone. No, no. Listen, in, in the little circle of Ipswich, you're the king. <laughs> boxing, people in boxing that know me, they know what I'm about. So they know that I'm not ducking no one, especially not yourself. Do you believe him? Do you think he ducked you? I know he ducked me. And it's fine. And you can, you can lay it out however you wish and say, ah, oh, like, they didn't let me do it. I was, oh, I wasn't in control. Dad, daddy didn't let me, yeah. Yeah, daddy, daddy didn't let you. Daddy, daddy Shalom didn't let you fight me because he knew what you know as well. You weren't ready then, and I don't know how you think that 
Laboring through a 10 round fight with Marius Wack and barely scraping by with a Dave Allen makes you ready for me now. But if that's where you gain your confidence from having those two fights, cool. We've seen the pictures this man's put on social media. <laughs> he was a baby <laughs> and a buggy. <laughs> Wheeled by Ben Shalom. Yeah, yeah. Daddy Shalom. Daddy He's Shalom. laughing and I know you're a proud man. Yeah, he is. Did it burn you? He's not, it don't burn me. Do you know what? I laughed. One one nil. You know what? If if let's hope he's as good as fighting as he's at trolling people because he's a funny guy, he's a character. <laughs> but after after March thirty first, maybe you know, maybe I learn a few techniques on the phone and start uh, doing a bit of trolling myself. I'd have the laugh. You were trying to poke the bear, weren't you? Hey, that's what the game's about. I'm here to poke all the bears. I did it in my previous fights as well. It's mm. it's nothing personal to him, Miss. But. I'm here to give everyone a nudge. The, the fight starts before we get in the ring. I'm, I'm poking you, I'm prodding you, I'm nudging you, I'm seeing what you're made of. I'm seeing if you've got it. I'm seeing how? if you can survive it. How? Did, how, did, how did that make you see what I'm, what I'm made of? What I'm because about? I, mate, I watched your replies to people and how upset you get about it. Upset? And, and you're kicking off with this random... I'm laughing to you. I told you I was laughing to you. Yeah, yeah, about well that done, one. So yeah, how? yeah, about that one. You had a laugh at that one. Fair. About all of them. But then when the random public are, are digging at you and think, I've seen some of your replies on there. You take it to Which heart. Ones? You take Which it ones? personally. Which ones? You're picking on random Steve from Dorset who just had a pop at you for no tell reason. Tell me, what? tell me. Are you saying he's mentally fragile? I haven't got enough to say he's mentally fragile. I say he, those things, however he may say now, however not, they do get to him in, in some context. You're saying he bites. Definitely bites. Listen, the man needs, he needs an edge. He needs, he needs something. He needs something to give him that little bit. And if that's what he wants to give him that, that's fair enough, you know, Johnny. Okay, I bite. I bite at people on the internet. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope these are just giving you that little bit of confidence. Because your confidence will be what kills you, you know that? When you're calm and you, you swing, oh, Fabio Wardley's been hit with a shot. Now, now, you know, this is what wakes him up. Now he's coming, swinging big shots, right hand over the top, left hook, head all over the place. That's not confidence. That's factual situations. Mm. Every time I've been clocked, I've come forward yeah. and I've put the opponent so, down. Tr try that this time. So it's not, Try it's keep not, getting it's not, clocked. It's confidence, yeah, because I've backed it up every time. You can stick it on me and I'll stand right in front of you and go back at you. And every time it's happened, the other person has ended up on their back and my hand has been raised. And the good thing about this is there'll, there'll be no dif there's no difference in you that's in me. Tell me what you've got that I've not. It remains to be seen, that's all. No, well, listen. On in the, the program, it remains, remains, remains to be seen, we will that's, all. See, won't we? that's all I'm saying is that you with me, you can pull up images, you can pull up images, videos, whatever. You can prove it. It's there no, to I've be seen. It. I've got it. With you, question mark. I can feel the confidence oozing out of you. And you seem so, so comfortable in this environment. Is it fake? Is it front? Is it true? No, not at all. Because, I, again, they're the same thing. I only base everything off things I've done. I, I'm not here saying I'm, I'm this, that, I'm the other. I'm saying I know what I've achieved in boxing. I know where I've come from. I know how I've had to grind through in boxing, through a very different path to him. I've had to scrape and claw for everything I've got in, in boxing as a whole. Well, do you think I've not had to do the same? I don't know. I don't know your. No, I don't you, know your path entirely. No, you, you do. You do know. So, do you think I've not had to scrape and work my ass off at everything I've got? Think anything. You think anything, saying, anything, anything's been given to me. I'm not saying you haven't. I'm saying your path has been very different to me, and I'd say your path was definitely easier. Coming off someone with an amateur record and an amateur background and stuff, and then you moving into the pros, that's definitely an easier path than easier, mine. Easier, easier. You, cho you chose the easier option. Why didn't you box as an amateur? Why did you box the wasn't pump a, guys in white collar? It wasn't so, around so who, when who, I was who, there. Who was doing easy? What was it? Amateur boxing? It wasn't around in my area. Amateur boxing's there not in your there area? Was, there, was no, there was no amateur, amateur boxing. Amateur boxing's not in Ipswich. There wasn't, there wasn't at the time. There is now. There is now, so, but there wasn't at so the time. So you're telling me amateur boxing is, is not in Ipswich? There wasn't. Not, a, not I'm, I'm saying that, no, it is now. When I started, there wasn't at the time. You're talking no. rubbish. How would you Amateur know? boxing's How would UK, you know? it's all every, all everywhere. It's, it's all everywhere. Over. Yeah, it's all over. It it's everywhere. If, if, you wanted, if you wanted it bad enough, I didn't take the easy option to go and fight these pub men. Yeah? And, and like I say, you're a big guy in your area. The man, he's knocking everyone out in the white collar. He's two and pro and he's carried on doing it, which, you know what, once again, I applaud you. I do. You know what you've done? It's actually unbelievable. It's unbelievable, Johnny. <laughs> Fabio's the champion. Mm. He's the A side. Mm. Does that bother you? 
No. Is he the, is he is he the favourite? No, he's well according to to everyone. I think so. Yeah, possibly. You know what? He's got a longer do, record. Do you he's think he's the favourite? Behave yourself. I'll punch his head in. I can, I can, I can outbox him. I can swing it with him. It's not <laughs> even even was not an issue. Cause he, I think he's banging on the fact that he's got this heart and this punch power. We've both got heart. Are you the favourite? Yeah, of course. But should I be? That's a different question. I've gone into, I think, all of my fights being the favourite. What, what do you mean, should you be? Well, based off his background, based off where he's from. Oh, on the, paper? On, on paper, if you list it out of, of his background and his pedigree and stuff, should I be the favourite? Who knows? Mm -hmm. Am I the favourite? Yeah. Because, again, people judge it based off what you can see and what you have seen from me. And what we've seen from him is not a lot. Due to his opponents, due to whatever situations, whatever circumstances have gone on, Within the professional ranks, what we've seen from him is next to nothing. So I think that's why then people look at me and they look at previous fights and they go, you know what, we've seen this, 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 this from Fabio. He's the favourite. I've been fighting since I was 11 years old. There's not, there's not a lot that I've not seen. I've seen and I've beaten and I've fought Fabio Wardley's. A lot, a lot of them. Fabio, what scares you? Having a disappointing career scares me. Looking, looking back and thinking, oh, I dodged, oh, I dodged that, that mm -hmm. situation, that fight. I could have had this big fight. I didn't have that big fight. Hence why you always see me in the big, in the big fights, in the big situations. I don't want anyone to ever come you've up been to in me. One, we've been in one big fight. There's more to come. You've been in There's one more big fight. This, this There's is more your second. To come. There's more to come. You've already overachieved, we're, we're not all old men like you. You've I've already got, I've got a good brother. few more years in the game. There's a lot more is to it? come. How many? There's a lot more to come, mate. Don't not, worry. Not, not when you lose. Once I knock past you, you they'll keep moving. They'll keep yeah. moving. And when I look back on my career, mm. I want to sit there and be proud of that career and proud of that resume yeah. and look at those people and go, yeah, I took on him. I took on him. And I didn't dodge. I didn't wait. I didn't say, oh, yeah, in a couple of years. Oh, I'm not ready yet. I'll do it later. I did it when it was asked for. I, d I went away, I went to Adelaide's camp, I went to Queensbury, cool, done, ticked off. I've come to Sky, I've found you, cool, done, I'll tick you off as well. You find me, bro, I've been looking for you. I've been looking for you, mm. and you know that, you know, it's the roll of the eyes. He's got his good points, Johnny, I've got mine. We've both got faults, we can both improve. But I know what's in this chest, and, what, and what's in his, to be fair, it's going to bring a good fight. No, I agree with him on that. But there's only one winner. I had a message, you know what it said? Oh. It said that the amateur boxing reputation in England is on your shoulders. Should you or not be? I will beat you. So no, should, should you? I will should be you. Beat I will be you. You should, no, exactly. No should. I will beat you. So when you don't, it's going to crumble all of that behind you. What was Fabio Wardy like growing up? <laughs> Mischievous. Um, no, I was I was I wasn't the best behaved kid. I didn't do. <laughs> I guess as you've seen in boxing as well, I did things my own way. I did things however I wanted to do them. I found myself in situations that I shouldn't be in. Um, I got myself into some sticky points at early points in my life and. Thankfully, I had some 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 more level-headed people around me to pull me out of those situations and and move me on and and found boxing and and gave myself to that as opposed to the negative things in my life. Was it a, a tough childhood? It was a we didn't have a lot, but it was a loving childhood. Whatever was there. The, the family that was around me, the people that were there, they, they cared for me. We, we didn't, I wasn't going on trips to America or, or, or flying around the world on holidays and stuff like that. I was, I was around my cousin Sammy Downs and, and stuff like that. But everyone that was around me, it was a, it was a loving childhood. Ipswich Town Academy, playing football. <laughs> Tell us about it. Short period of time. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't my calling. Um, I was, I was pretty young when you I got, got in. into that. I got in, I, I, I got in, yeah. Um, but I was pretty young when I got into it. And again, I wasn't a focused kid at that point. I didn't, I wasn't paying no attention to the coaches. I wasn't really listening to what they were saying. I was off in the corner 
playing keepy ups while everyone else was trying to do drills and, and taking it seriously. So I was, um, yeah, it, it, it didn't go for me, but luckily I found a sport that did. Let's get into the white collar story. You had uh, four bouts before mm. turning pro. Yeah. Wow and why? I, I always say that I fell into boxing. The, I, I walked into the gym one day um, and that was it, I never left. I, I, I fell in love with it on day one. I asked to spar straight away, I, I wanted to do extra extra sessions, I wanted to train, it was just, I, I fell in love with it. They asked me if I wanted to fight and I said yeah. Uh, I took a fight and again, I say that was the that was the real turning point for me in boxing was that first win of getting your hand raised and cheering your name and seeing your friends and family cheer for you and stuff. And I was like, no, nah, this is this is my thing. Fraser, it's a nice team. it's a nice story. It's a nice <laughs> story, you know. I had to do it the hard way. I had to train. I had to box an amateur. I had to go on GB. I had to go around the world, get my ass kicked in Russia, Uzbekistan. Kazakhstan, all these places. And I got my ass handed to me for years by everyone. Joshua, Joyce, oh, I was like a punch bag. But guess what? It straightened me out and did me well. Do you pinch yourself with all the things you achieved? No, because it's been, it's gone now, you know what? I did my best, I got what I got. Still not happy with it all. Still not happy, there's, there's medals missing from my collection. World medal. You're not happy with an Olympic bronze medal? No, we wanted gold. Who's happy with a bronze medal? You don't ever go somewhere to try and get a bronze medal. You go because you want to be number one. I hear that. You, you know, you, you, you're, still, you're still a loser. You know, and I, I look, you remember when Ben was on the podium, Ben was crying his eyes out. I felt that way inside. I just, I just felt like I had to keep it together. I had my kids watching, do you know what I mean? So I just, I failed at what I was trying to do. I'm a proud of it. It's something you can look back and proud on. But guess what? That's just, that's just pushed to a side now. We'll look at, back at it one day. You know what? I did all right. But on this new mission, so far, I'm not happy with what I've done so far. No way. What is your life? Yeah, I live it. This is, this is what, uh, this is this is all I've got. You know, you talk about him, his few and his football trials, which everyone had, didn't they? You just turned up to your, your local club, kicked the ball, he had a trial. <laughs> it was something to talk about, I suppose. Um, but yeah, <laughs> boxing is just—it's all I've done since uh, 11. It's a long time, because I'm old. I'm an old man. Fraser, you can't lose to white collar boxer, can you? Do you know what? Cause I, cause I go through all the comments, I had a message, you know what it said? Go on. It said that the amateur boxing reputation in England is on your shoulders. Mm. If you lose to this man, <clears throat> then guess what? You can't be the person that tells people. Because I'm one of them advocates. You know, when I see all the kids turning pro now at 18, I'm like, what are you doing, man? You've got to try and aim for them Olympic Games, the World Championships, Commonwealth Games. You've got, to, you know, you've got to try and represent your country. It's important. Important for yourself. It's very, something very proud. I'm the advocate. I'm the one that goes to all the gyms and says that. If this man beats me, guess what? They say, that won't listen to you. We'll go, we'll go box in then. We'll go and sell a few tickets. Fight the geezer from the pub in the um, in the leisure centre. So Wait, guess what? There, there is there is that. Does that idea alone scare you? No, I thrive on it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be the reason why these guys are these guys are winning junior championships and thinking about turning pro course. They have these snake promoters that are offering them a, <clears throat> offering them some pennies and it, and their eyes light up. I'm gonna be the reason to say, listen, go and do your job, go and learn your trade, go around the world. Don't get different experiences, the best time of your life. Is there more pressure on this guy because of your different routes? One thousand percent. More pressure on him than you? <clears throat> more pressure on him, yeah. Like you say, he carries, he's, <laughs> he's carrying the whole of the ABA on his back. If he loses to me, what does that say? He says he's the guy to run around and, and, and advise all these kids on how to do it and stay in the amateurs and and drag it out and do longer, go around the world and, and get all your experience like he's done for years and years and years. To represent your country more. All of that. It's a, it's a, it's a proud thing. All of thing. that, you, all of that. Say he does all of that, 
losers to me who banged out a few pub geezers, did boxing for a laugh. And what does that say to his pedigree? What does that say to his record? So hey. that's, that's where the pressure comes from. I'm expected to lose. The white collar fighter is expected to lose against the Olympic bronze medalist. But that's in the past. Lay that so out. That's in Lay the past. That out. 17 that 0 pro Put it at the with top 17 of knockouts. Does that not sound like someone with eight fights who's laboured through his last two? So, so yeah, then, who's that made a favourite? According to you, I fought nobody. So, why does it matter? We both have. Let's, let's be a let's, let's talk according real. to you, I fought. Let's talk okay, so we both we, have. Okay, if we both have, then yeah. fair enough. Say we're both on zero, we both fought nobody. Like one so, one, then listen, based off your pedigree, you should be the one to beat me, no? That should put the that should because if I've if in the pros if I've beat no one and also in my four white collar fights if I beat a couple of geezers from the pub and you've been around the world with your ABA and you've boxed all over and you've done mm. all this and you've got your bronze medal you yeah, should so be I'm not banging on about that I'm not banging on about what you I've should, done I'm not banging on about should you or not done. should you or not beat me I will beat you so no, should, should you I will should beat you, you beat me? I will beat you you should there's exactly there's no should. I will beat you so when you don't it's gonna crumble all of that behind you. Fabio, this is the toughest test for you to date. Is yeah. this the acid test? Is this, this that fight? This you is need the last to think one. I belong. This is the last one. This is the last one for me. Well, you feel like you belong. You, you feel like you belong to the next level. Yeah, I feel like once I'm done with you, I'm, I'm, I'm in the next level. I'm done, I'm mm. gone. We know what the British title brings out in fighters. You have to go to a dark place to win. Who's prepared to go there? Oh, 100%. 100%. I love it though. 100%. I love it though. That's my favourite place to be. Mm. You see it in my fights. I aim for that place. I want to get there. Yeah, he, he likes it. Once he gets hit, he likes having a swing up. Do you know what I mean? He's no composure. It's just reckless. I don't, I don't, I don't mind going there either. You haven't had to see it yet. You might not have to see it this time. You might do. If you do, it's there. You will I can see assure it. you. You will see it. Can you, listen, I'll drag you down there with you me. Know, we'll find you, out. We'll find we'll out. We'll find out. You say you've uh, got so, heart. No one's so, seen so, it. And let's see. And let's see if it's there. Let's see if it's there. Middle of the ring then. I'm, I'm, don't, don't that little, that little, that little stamp in the face. Middle of the ring. Let's do it. I'll stand there if you want to stand there. No problem, mate. As much as he's born for it, I'm born for it. This fight has everything. Beautiful belts. Two undefeated fighters, the O2 Arena, Easter Sunday. Can this be anything other than a classic? As long as he turns up to fight, it'll be a classic. I'll be there. My fights are always entertaining. They're always a good I'll watch. I'm always a fan favourite. So as long as he turns up, does his part, make sure he gets there, it'll be one to remember. Fraser, what kind of fight are you expecting? Toughest one by about 100 miles compared to what I've been in with yet. A guy that's focused and ambitious. They're, hard, they're, they're usually the hardest ones, the ones that come with them ambition. It's going to be a difficult night. But guess what? I'm prepared for that. And I expect you to be the same. Two balls in the pen. Who's the last man standing? Fabio Wardley. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. Me, Johnny. I'm the one. It's my time. Waited too long. 11 years old. That could be the problem. You could have waited too long. Mm -mm. Could be past it. Mm -mm. Too many rounds. I'm just getting started, man. Too worn in. Too tired. I thought, I thought, you, I thought you'd done more rounds than me. No, I'm talking about you your career, everything before. The amateurs. Yeah. Yeah, man. You said you, you was running around the world getting punched in. The apprenticeship. The apprenticeship it was good. Takes its toll, doesn't it? The apprenticeship was good, man. Takes its toll on your body. Turn me into a school, Bit man. Bit things hurt, ache. This is truly the land of the giants. <clears throat> I'm, a gi up. I'm a giant. He's a cruiserweight, man. I'm a giant. What are you talking about? <laughs> Who's the bigger man? I'm a bigger man. <laughs> Who's the bigger man? It's a cruiserweight, man. It's a, a cruiserweight that's trying to eat, trying to eat a lot of food and right. build himself up, man. It's even worse for you, then. Mm. You get beat by a cruiserweight and a white collar fighter. Yeah. What are you going to do then? Where'd you go easy. after? Boys. Me. I go, wait, tell you where it's I done. go. When you where lose, do I go? Where you do I go? Boys. I go, you buy my drink. It's done. Boys. I'll give you a cheers. Boys. You, buy my you, drink. you know what's coming. Ask this question every single time. 
Am I gonna get a handshake? All right. Almost had a push and a pull then. I was thinking uh, about it. It's been done. It's been done already. Good luck, boys. Let's do it. 